Hi, this is Anthony. Welcome back to my show. The politics and culture of a country can be deeply influenced by the powerful people that control the media, whether that be newspapers, radio, television, films, the internet, or a combination of a number of them. Rupert Murdoch has been and continues to this day to be a titan within the media world in Australia, the United States, and the United Kingdom. The landscape of American politics may well be quite different had Fox News not existed. Some would argue that William Randolph Hearst got the United States into war with Spain, which of course has repercussions to this day vis-a-vis -vis the United States with respect to Puerto Rico, Cuba, and the Philippines, among others. And would American foreign policy towards the People's Republic of China have been any different had Henry Luce not operated Time magazine? Sumner Murray Redstone was not necessarily the household name that Rupert Murdoch is, but just about everyone in the United States and throughout the world has heard of CBS and Paramount Pictures, MTV and Nickelodeon. A few months ago, I read a book that I was excited to get my hands on. As I sat down today to write out the script for this video, I thought I would again play around with Bard AI, which I've used in the past to create some humorous poems and other short fiction works which I've highlighted on my channel, but one which I've found quite often has a poor record of getting their facts correct and not inserting what are sometimes glaring inaccuracies or failures of logic. However, I thought I would ask it to write a five-page summary of the book, and I think that it did a good job. So that's what I'm going to read, and then I'll finish up with some of my own thoughts to take away from this book. So please continue listening until the end. So here's what it says. Unscripted, the epic battle for a media empire and the Redstone family legacy by James B. Stewart and Rachel Abrams is a gripping and well-researched account of the final years of Sumner Redstone, the founder and chairman of Paramount Global, and the power struggle that ensued among his family, friends, and business associates. The book begins with a detailed portrait of Redstone, a complex and contradictory figure who is both a brilliant businessman and a ruthless tyrant. Redstone was driven by a relentless ambition and a thirst for power, and he built Paramount Global into one of the most successful media empires in the world. However, he was also a deeply flawed individual, and his personal life was marked by scandal and dysfunction. The book's central narrative revolves around the battle for control of Paramount Global after Redstone began to decline mentally and physically in his late 90s. Redstone's daughter, Sherry, and his longtime companion, Manuela Herzer, were engaged in a fierce feud over his control, and they were both surrounded by a cast of characters who were all vying for their own share of power and influence. Stewart and Abrams do a masterful job of recounting this complex and fascinating story. They draw on a wide range of sources, including interviews with key players in the drama, to provide a detailed and nuanced account of the events that unfolded. The book is also well-written and engaging, with Stuart and Abram's sharp prose and keen eye for detail, making it a pleasure to read. One of the most striking things about Unscripted is the portrait it paints of the culture of greed and excess that permeated the upper echelons of Paramount Global during Redstone's reign. The book is full of stories of lavish spending, lavish parties, and lavish salaries. It's also the story of betrayal, deceit, and manipulation, as the people around Redstone sought to take advantage of his declining health and mental state. In the end, Unscripted is a cautionary tale about the corrupting influence of power and money. It's also a reminder that even the most powerful people are not immune to human weakness. The book is a must-read for anyone interested in the business world, the media industry, or the psychology of power. Okay, this is Anthony again. So the preceding was composed by Bard AI. I think in this case, it did a pretty good job. And I agree that this book really should be in the pantheon of business books that people with a wide variety of interest in the story would enjoy. I think something like this should be required reading at business schools. But even if you're just interested in the intersections of culture and media and power in the United States and throughout the world, this is a book that you would enjoy. And while it's not written in a salacious manner, there is a lot of private behavior that's quite relevant to the story that's discussed. A large component of the second half of the book deals with CBS CEO Les Moonves and his long history of sexual impropriety and the difficulty of removing him from heading that company, along with other aspects of the Me Too movement.
So if that type of content is of interest to you, you'll probably enjoy this book. But again, this isn't a National Enquirer expose. This is a serious, important book written by serious and professional business writers. Have you read this book yet? If you have, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. If you've never heard of this book after seeing this video, what are your thoughts? Are you interested? Leave a comment about that. And hopefully you'll hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and click the like button. It really helps me out and I do appreciate it. Thanks so much and see you soon.